Yo, what is good, my anime faithful? What is good, yo? <sighs> Guys, no gun life was crazy this week. Um, I kind of like the fact that they're ly openly lying to us throughout the show. Or at least Juzo is. Um, him telling us that smoking isn't really necessary definitely had me going, right? Like, it had me feeling like, okay, that isn't a necessary thing he needs, but it's more or less something he wants to do. So, that's cool. But then we see this week's episode, and that completely gets thrown out of here because... He needs those cigarettes to keep himself from going into this rampage, disgustingly beast mode. And to think that he pretty much started to just absolutely destroy someone that not only had a good understanding of what he's capable of, but also had um, let his guard down one time in the case of finding out, you know, like, it's like, oh, uh, we're entering in combat mode, and then it's it's like, can we get, we need authorization to be able to go and do this, you know? So he's just like, oh, psh, easy win. Gets up close about to punch him and does punch him, and it activates this disgusting fighting mode, which I feel like these two characters right here that are on the screen are like the two most brawlingest characters in Jump Force. And that's just what this was. It was just two people slugging it out with straight fists. And um, I I was truly thrown back when it came down to what could be possible for the show. I mean, they really put him in a good juzo and a good light this week just to show us not only how strong he is, but once he loses control, what can he really keep in his mind what can he really do to not hurt others uh it looks like nothing at this point and i think that's better than uh having him have some control and not because that's what it kind of seemed like it was te teetering on but every time he kind of had control it was around these times where he had a long brief periods of not doing anything or it felt like he could be in control right like it felt like it wasn't too much of a push to be like, oh, and then he came back to his self. Like, yeah, because he was sitting there, re you know, like not attacking and not being aggro anymore. So what else was he, you know, like building up and like what else was he really um, doing other than, you know, taking back control and getting his head set back into his place, you know, so absolutely nuts how much they, um how much damage we find out he can take as well that was pretty ridiculous uh how much he was shot up by like a gatling gun that came out of the guy the bad guy um not only that we really have a good understanding of the situation in this town in this overall world where people want to control the most power and by control oops I didn't mean to do that by controlling the most power you're then controlling uh, you know everybody who's dictated by said power and all those people who are dictated by it are the ones that you know don't try to fight against it don't try to you know have any words against it or anything like that you just kind of accept it and roll over like a dog and let your stomach be pouched um but in this case we are not only seemingly fugitives but we've been on the run in this show practically the whole time like there isn't a time when i feel like our character had a chance to really just do whatever he wanted um to be able to just chill and whatnot because he's always been kind of under watch under uh you know just under wraps all this time so to think that we're going to continue to see this type of stuff continue to grow on and probably even see um the chain like what's going to change uh if any information actually gets out 
But that is all stopped very, very quickly after we see this. Probably the best looking fight that they had. And there was a lot of motion blur in this week's episode where you're looking at the whole entire fight. But what you're seeing is just a shaky camera and it's blurry because of not only the shakiness but it feels like they chose to almost use that to give you the feeling that it's just actually you know shaky crazy shaky crazy um so i don't really care for that uh it's been done really heavily in a show called radiant which i like a lot but to think that we're getting it in this show as well and it looks like this it is kind of uh jarring to watch but at the same time it's understandable it's kind of like the cgi of fight scenes um where i bet this blurriness kind of helps them save some money i guess in some way so they don't have to go into too much detail but yeah regardless it still kind of hurt to watch so we'll see how that ends up throughout the rest of the season but right at the end we see another glimpse of this gun slave and for some reason it sounds like this guy this unit has been recently created or if it's not recently created it was just created out of a much younger user but for some reason still looks like he's about the same size as Juzo so it must be something to do with the brain uh, that they use to put in the functioning uh, body. So, I don't know. I'm interested in seeing what you guys are thinking about this other gunhead and just how he pretty much bopped one of our characters, uh, one of the people that have been helping us. So, this ain't looking so good. And definitely let me know what you guys think could happen with the show or if you guys even like it anymore whatever the case may be i want to hear it in the comments down below happy thanksgiving i'm making these videos relatively short so i can get them all out at least before i go and do my whole thing thing so you guys have a whole bunch to watch and watch it at your own pace stuff so thank you guys so much for the support it's been amazing it's been fun it's been actually crazy to think that i'm at like a thousand plus videos because we do this every day and you guys a lot of you guys show up every single day to these videos or if not the day of the next day or the next day and that's all i could ask for that's really all this channel is about is to give some of these shows out here reviews that never really get them because they don't if people in the youtube don't get enough views on certain shows they won't talk about it regardless of the show being good amazing awesome all that stuff they'll just drop it because it's not helping their youtube channel i don't care about that i'm here to talk about the shows that i enjoy the shows that my fans enjoy and not only that give you guys the honest truth so i hope you guys enjoy and i can't wait to talk to you in the next one so with that being said peace